The Energy Minister and Member of Parliament elect for Hohoi, John Peter Mehu, meanwhile, is pledging tremendous transformation of the constituents within the next four years. According to him, he would work to ensure Hohoi sees growth in economic and human resources and a restoration of its lost glory. This, he believes, would ensure the MPP will continue to occupy the Hohoi parliamentary seat for a long time to come. Fred Kwame Sarin's report. At the launch of Mr. Amewu's campaign in Hohoe, President Akufado endorsed him and appealed to the electorate to elect him as their next MP for a tremendous transformation of the constituency. And even without being an MP, you have seen the work that he's doing here in Hohoe. Add MP to the minister and you will see the rapid transformation of Hohoe. Following his historic victory, Mr. Amewu embarked on a tour to thank his constituents and show appreciation. In recounting the president's promise, he assured the people that the transformation would come to fruition. President Akufado promised to resolve all your challenges in the Hohoi constituency if you elect Johnny as the MP. Hohoi City today is a golden seat. It's a golden seat. We will build it on here from this town. The golden still will remain. This golden seat will never go again. Hohoi from today is a seat for the MPP. Some people are still in shock. I won the Hohoi parliamentary seat. The Volta Regional Chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Makafi Wanya, urged the constituents to rally behind the MP-elect to enable him to deliver on his mandate.